Hey coaches, welcome back to Football Talk with Coach Chip. Today we're doing a preview of something I've been working on for months. Really and truly, that's not necessarily the case. I've probably been working on it my entire life. Offensive line manual for gap down backer. It really got hard on me to do this back in, um, in January, February, and March is when it when it started, when I was speaking at some clinics. We spoke, I spoke at a clinic on a on the power and of course it was the, the gap down backer power that we have so many videos here on the channel and then the buck uh the three sessions on buck that i did uh at a clinic over in dublin and then i did a couple online clinics all talking about gap down backer scheme and it was so january february march it really hit me in february hey we need to do this and i started working on it it turns out it's going to be over a hundred pages, a hundred slides, and it'd be like the other things that I've done, my big book of bucks and, and my uh, my playbook. But folks, I, I'm not saying this for any reason, except I think it's true. This is the best thing I've done. It is intensive. It's very focused on basically one thing, and this is going to be a preview of it. I'm going to, we're going to look at some video clips, and I'm going to show you a sneak preview of what's in it. Of course, it'd be available here from Football Talk with Coach Chip and also my good buddy Kenny Simpson is going to start marketing it within days after this video hits. Well, don't forget, subscribe if you're not subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. It's a freebie. You won't get spammed. If you ever get an email from me it's and you've never emailed me, you probably need to junk it because I'm not going to do that. And also like it. Now, tell all your friends about it. Now, if you don't like it, don't tell anybody. Just keep going. But let's look at some of the things that, uh, let's look at some video of Gap Down Backer, and we'll talk through it like we always do and do some drawing on the video. And then I'm going to show you what is in the offensive line manual for Gap Down Backer. Okay, let's get after it. Okay, real quick, coaches, remember what Gap Down Backer is. Okay, this is going to be counter left off of the jet action. Okay, right here, we're going to fake jet with our Z, a little jab, and come here and run counter. All right, now, the action in the backfield is irrelevant to the offensive line. It's irrelevant to the big uglies up front. His rule is gap down backer. This guy is on his outside shoulder, so he's not worried about this guy right here. He's going to block the first thing inside, and that's the default. I've just been teaching a, some young linemen gap down backer this week. And the one thing I told them after I go through everything, I said, here's the deal. If you're ever confused, block the first thing inside. If you're ever confused, block the first thing inside. He is going to block the first thing inside. Okay. The guard, the center is going to block the first thing back. Now you can do man back where he bangs him. And then goes back. Now, here's what we teach, and this is in the manual. We're going to teach him to come back kind of at a 45 and pretend that he's wearing one of those uh, cones of uh, that the dogs wear when they get surgery to keep them licking their wound. He wants to have a cone on his head, an imaginary cone, and he's looking for what is coming toward his A-gap. Because remember, it is gap scheme, so everybody has a gap. In this case, it's counter right. So the right tackle's got that right B gap. The right guard's got that right A gap. The center's got the left A gap. Okay, he doesn't have a man. So you can either bang and go back. Okay, That's, all right. You can bang him and go back at an angle with your uh, just a couple of steps looking. Is he coming? That's your guy. Okay, is he coming through the A gap? Then that'd be your guy. Okay, so remember, you don't have a man. You don't have a man. You've got a gap. And in this case, since it's counter, this backside guard is going to pull and kick, which should be this DN right here. Okay, and this is, uh, I believe this one's GH. He's going to pull the H. 
okay? And he should have his eyes inside. He ends up having his eyes and ends up getting the safety. And this guy almost makes the play right here. All right, let's look. You see motion? Boom. So we made that backside backer. Watch it again. All right, let's go slow-mo. I love slow-mo. So right here, his eyes should be there. Okay? But he's looking right here. He doesn't see anything because his eyes aren't in there. And he ends up coming and getting here. Good job by the back, hitting it hard. It worked out, but it's not the best way to do it. Good play. All right, so that's GH counter, and it's all gap down backer. All right, now here's good old-fashioned power. Okay, power left. Same thing. His rule's gap down backer. Now this guy looks to be a little heavy, maybe in a, uh, a four. But what we coach him is you got to whip inside. And you do that by dipping and ripping and getting skinny like a D lineman, slanting to get in here. And you're usually going to wind up on the backside backer or if there's a mic backer dead in the middle very rare will you get this guy okay now if he inserts and crosses your path and that's in the manual we talk about tracks if he crosses your track then of course you block him okay you're not going to avoid anything but just tell them usually that's not going to be the case they're usually going to wind up if everything's perfect okay like he's coming here and he comes here he'll wind up on this guy probably somewhere in there, right in here, you see? Oh, and then the guard, boom, center, back. He's gonna wrap, because it's power. We're gonna kick out right here with our H, okay? And he's got gap hinge. He's, by the way, the backside tackle, unless he's pulling on the GT counter, has always got the backside B gap. Now he can flip, he'll flip or hinge and pick up maybe this guy coming off the edge or this guy coming off the edge, but not at the expense of giving up that gap. Let's look what we're talking about here. If he's got to step in here first, check the B gap. If nothing's coming, then he can flip his hips. And that too is in the O-line manual for gap down backer. We got this whole section is dedicated to each block. Then, of course, you got your J block right here. Let's look. See right there, you're getting your down. Look, he got across the DN's face. He should be coming right through here. He picks up play side. Should have kept going. That's the left tackle. But it's a good block. And it turns out to be a good play. Watch the left guard right here. He should be blocking down. Got the nose. We wind up with a sandwich right here because he pinched inside. That backside DN pinched inside, so the tackles got him. And then you got the right here, the center coming back because this guy did not come immediately. J block, work your hips up the field. And that's in there too. We're talking about how you work your hips up the field. Okay. All right, here's another counter. This is a GH. I got a GT coming for you, I promise. Okay, this tackle, gap down backer. This guy disappeared inside. So he's going back toward Mike. But here's the deal. Okay, he, I mean, he's going back toward this guy. But here's the deal. This guy is going to cross his track. Watch. It's good stuff. He's on, there he is. He's on his track, so he blocks him. This, too, is included in the manual, along with coaching points and instructions on how to do the block. All right. Watch your left guard. He ends up getting that guy that shoots in the A gap. And then the center is going to get this guy that shaded back. See, this is the same game as the previous game, as the previous clip, excuse me. But notice this time they're in an even front. That's the great thing about gap down backer. I think all they did was walk down the outside backer from a while ago. The great thing about the gap down backer is this. We don't care what they're in. 
everybody's got their rule. You just block your rule. Okay, B-Y-R-D, block your rule, damn it. That's all you have to do. And if, if everybody blocks their rule, then it's going to work out. And we don't care how many guys they put in on the line. We got, they didn't put so many gaps. And every gap is accounted for. Left tackle's got the B. Left guard's got the A. Center's got the A. He's got the gap that's created by the down blocks when he pulls. He's got the backside B. Okay? Every gap's accounted for. He's got backside B to C. He's going to check B. Nothing coming B. Then he flips and gets anything coming off C right here, if that makes sense to you. Okay? Watch center, work his hips upfield. Good football play. Okay. All right, here's power. Uh, we're going to motion right here because we want to run power to the uh, to the A-gap D tackle. Either he's in a two I or a one. And uh, he's in he's in this gap. Okay. And we Film study, we liked our chances there with the guard blocking down on the tackle and him going to the backside right there, okay? Right there. And then, of course, the guard backside is going to wrap and get this guy. So the motion by the H, boom, J block this cat right here, okay? Let's look at it. There's your shuffle motion. Break down in the B. Give yourself an angle. Don't go too far. Now notice that time, the right tackle, the play side backer does step up, but he doesn't slow down to wait for him. He keeps coming. So what happens, this guy steps up behind his block. It's okay, we're coming there, and this guy's coming for that guy. Does that make sense to you? All of this is in the manual. I'm telling you, it's over 100 slides, and it's not just, it's everything. I'll show it to you. In just a little bit. So we have the back block, tackle shut down the backside B, the left tackle did. The pulling guard should have been tighter. Maybe well, he was pretty tight to the guard when he came down. But look right here. He needs to attack inside. Inside number. That two is in the manual. That's a good football play. Okay. And uh, he checked out. Then this is just a good a case of a good film study by the entire staff, figuring out the best way to run power. And we did it using the motion, which we hadn't used it a ton previously. All right, here's, oh, here's GT. I promised you GT. Here it is. GT counter. We I've shown you a power. I've shown you two powers, two GHs. You know, no one of them was a counter crisscross, but the line blocked it the same. One of them was just a, a jet counter, but the line blocked the same. Now here's another jet counter, but this time we call GT. You say, well, why, why do you call one and not call the other? It depends. Okay, for instance, if they're running an an odd front and they're really heavy right here. And we think that our H won't be able to dig him out on the back side, we'll call GH. But notice he's out here in a really loose five. You see what I'm talking about? This guy right here. He is outside of the um, of the right tackle. And again, through film study, we knew this. So now we know this guy can cut him off. Okay, and even if he doesn't, he's so wide, he's probably not gonna make the play because the jet fake. And the reason he's so wide is because we jetted so much. The jet fake's going to hold him. So now we can pull the tackle. Okay. We're going to get a kick. We're going to get the T wrapping right through here, through the funnel that's created by the down blocks. Okay. Here we go. Again, taking jet. Way to get downhill, way to hit inside. And he ends, there's no linebacker there. He ends up on a DB, doesn't he? Talking about the tackle. Right here. Watch him. 
Good kick. Good job. Another good football play. So there you see you've got, I've shown you a GH, two GH counters. Uh, one was a, like a fake a buck and run the counter crisscross. I've shown you uh, two jet counters, fake jet run counter, one with GH, that's guard and H, one with GT, that's guard and tackle. And also I showed you a couple of traditional powers. All right, let's look at what's inside of this manual that goes along with these videos. So here we go, the preview of the offensive line manual for gap down backer. I'll tell you, this is the best stuff that I've done. I really believe that in my heart of hearts. All right, it includes easy to read diagrams, pictures of techniques being executed, okay, where I got like a series of pictures, like, like almost like that time stop photography kind of stuff. Multiple coaching points, drills you can do to get better at gap down backer, complete blocking rules for several plays, power, counter, and uh, an alternative to the power when you can't run it for whatever reason because the DN's a bow dog, and even how, uh, rules to running the uh, power uh, read. So you got the rules are there for that. Video clips of teams using gap down backer. I've got um, division one teams, division two teams, and high school running gap down scheme. Links to great teaching videos that are right here on YouTube from, from my channel. Exclusive access, something most of you have never gotten access to because I only gave it to the people that went to the clinics. Exclusive access to the gap down backer clinic videos that I did this past winter. And of course, access to me if you have any questions. All right, here's examples of a few of the easy to read diagrams that are included in the manual. With it, there'll be explanations like the diagram would be here and over here be explanations of each diagram, step by step, how you can do it, okay? Showing you the different things and different terminology that we use. Here you see the famous rump line, okay? And by the way, I, for the last several weeks, I've sent off rough drafts of this manual to several offensive line coaches and gotten their input, gotten their critiques. You know, some of it was, you know, all of it was positive. It's even when they told me, well, you ought to do this, or no, I wouldn't say it that way. Don't include this. Or why did you include this? And I'll say, that's awesome. That's why I sent this to y'all. It was a handful of guys, a couple of head coaches that got a background in O-line, and then several O-line guys, young ones and older ones. You know, some of them older as me. And I got their feedback. And so this is not just Coach Chip. This is a lot of coaches, coaches all over the country. I got about eight of them that I sent it to them because I knew they would do it for me. It was, you know, right after spring training and they had a little time and they really went into it hard. And their reward is I'm giving them free copies. Boy, I'm a, I'm a great guy, huh? Sarcasm. Okay, examples of two of the frame-by-frame -frame pictures. I got this right here showing you how he blocks a linebacker that crosses his track and it's like eight but still shots, step, 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 and the video. So I'm trying to get you, give it to you as many ways as I can give it to you to teach it to you and for you can teach it to your kids, okay? I've also got clip by clip showing you how they do the, to, the skip pull, okay? And it's like six or seven photographs, okay, of a, of a guard doing the skip pull, showing you the step by step with explanations attached. Examples of many coaching points, like I said, the rump line, okay, teaching the kids what the rump line is. By the way, the front side creates the rump line. They don't care about the rump line. The rump line's all about the rapper coming here and hugging the rump line, being close enough to strike a match on their butts right here. See, that's a great coaching point. It's not one I came up with. It's a combination of two coaching points that I've learned through my nearly four decades in coaching. Okay, I learned the rump line from a coach way back when, great offensive line coach, and then the strike a match term has been used by multiple coaches down throughout the years. Some use the term scrape paint, okay, and, and that's a good one too. And I'll use them interact, you know, just interchanging them. Examples of some of the drills that are included with easy to follow instructions. Right here, this is a great drill that I got from a young coach. Okay, I'm not going to go into it here don't have time and you need to get this manual and you will see this drill right here about track blocking, how you block people. Okay. How do you decide who you're going to block? This drill will teach it to you. 
okay, the, the guards and the tackles and the H's that are doing the, the wrapping about hugging the rump line. Got to, shows you that drill. Complete blocking rules going with these diagrams. All right, the complete block, blocking rules right there for you for counter left, counter right, power right, power left. I also include my gut play. You got that four eye that just will not let you run power. Okay, because he owns B gap. And you're not now. My suggestion is you run buck when they do that. But if you're not a, a buck team, you can run this gut. It's very similar to Kenny Simpson's belly play, what he calls belly. And also, too, I've got the option of you can't block the son of a buck. You read him. And that's in here too with rules. All right. Also included in these clinic are these clinic videos there are links to exclusive videos are on my on my channel right here but they're what do they call um unlisted or something like that where you got to have the link to open them because i didn't think it was fair just to give it to all of my subscribers okay, when there was guys that paid really good money or their programs paid good money for them to go to uh the douglasville or atlanta clinic for kenny and then the ones who went to Rogers Clinic over in Dublin. All right, you'll get that. Okay. I figured, and I told those guys, I said, I'm going to make this video for you and send it to you. And I'm not going to send it out to everybody else for a few months. So that was all back in February and March. So now here we are in June and I'm making it available to the people, to the coaches that buy this manual. All right. Why should you get the gap down backer manual? It's, it's used by everybody. It's used by everybody from the NFL all the way up as high as the NFL, all the way down to rec league teams. Okay. It's primarily power counter and buck, which are great plays. The scheme involves a kick out block on each on, on the play side and a wrap from the backside. Okay. A kick out block on the play side and a wrap from the backside, along with everybody on the front side doing gap down backer. Okay. And it's simple to teach y'all. It is simple. If you are a rec league coach or a youth league coach, a middle school coach, or even a high school coach, and you want to run this and you don't want something complicated, because here's the thing, once it's complicated, and don't say, oh, we, we run zone and it's the same every time. Bull crap, hey, go sell crazy somewhere else. I'm full up here at the Coach Chip channel. We got plenty of crazy. Because you know good and fire well, there's so many tags and so many other things. There's never such thing as just inside zone. Come on now. All right, but this, very few tags. It's very, I'm not saying it's better than zone, but if you're at a school where you've got kids going both ways and you've got limited time with your linemen, this is perfect. Okay? All right, so how do you get your copy? The same way you've always gotten it. You hit me up at siegel.chip at gmail.com. Tell me you want it, and I'll get that joker to you post haste. Or starting in a few days, and this is Friday, it's June 9th. I think next week, this is June 9th of 2023. Next week, Kenny's going to have it up on his, uh, his website. Now you see it right there. It's fbcoachsimpson.com slash download slash Chip Siegel O-line. And it will be available there as well. So if you've already got an account with Kenny, go ahead and use that. And if you've been buying them from me, just coming through the email, that's fine too. So guys, this I'm telling you, this is the best thing I've ever done. So until next time, remember to subscribe, like, and share the channel. Get your copy today. Until next time, y'all know what I'm going to say. Come on, be elite.